Okay, so for a lot of problems, we're going to ask you what the roots of the equations are. And here, my general advice is to use um, uh, this number here, the C value, 21. And look for factors of 21 that add up to your B term, negative 10. So what factors of 21 add up to negative 10? Well, negative 3 times negative 7, that's positive 21, right? And if we add negative 3 and negative 7, that equals negative 10. So that's it. If we factor this out, we would get x minus 3, or x plus negative 3, times x plus negative 7, or x minus 7. And what factored form allows you to do is to realize that you're multiplying two numbers that equal 0. One or the other has to be 0. So if x minus 3 equals 0, the first term here, solve for x, and x equals 3. That's your first root. If x minus 7 equals 0, solve for x, and x equals 7, that's your second root. So 3 and 7, choice 3. Um, you can also plug these values in to check, or you can just do that to begin with. If you plug in 3 or 7 into this formula, you will get 0. So those are the roots. On the graphing calculator, you can do this as well. You can enter in, we'll clear this off, x squared, sorry, x squared, minus 10x plus 21, right, and then graph it. And here, if you want to find the roots, hit second trace, and you want to find the zeros here. So you tell it, right, zeros are the, are the roots because the zeros are when um, you cross the x-axis. So here, let me just find the cursor. There it is. It'll ask you for a left bound, okay, and then a right bound. So left and right side of the parabola crossing the x-axis. It will guess. Sometimes it'll be approximate, but here you can see uh, when x is 3, y is 0. And then you can repeat that process again over here. Second trace. You want to hit 0, okay. Scroll to the right. It's going to ask you for a left bound. This time we're zooming in over here, so enter, and then to the right of that, enter. It's going to ask you to guess, yes, so 7. It, it can find the roots as well. So that's three ways to solve that problem.